good. God bless you and all those you love. My name is Keith Sanford, also known as Reverend Kicks. I just want to thank you personally for being a part of my channel. We have rapidly flew past 800. We are closely approaching 1,000, and it's because of you and your prayers and your support. I just want to say thank you, and I pray that as you support me, God gives to you a hundredfold good measure, pressed down, shaken together, shall God give to you. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, I want you to know how humbling and how totally mind-blowing it is to go from 24 um subscribers to 26 subscribers to 100 subscribers and to 300 and something less than a year ago to all of a sudden we are are, are approaching 1,000 subscribers that just goes to show you that if you are if you are focused on doing things for the Lord God will do things in your life that you can't do but you dream to do and as he does it is better than you ever dreamed and it's bigger than you ever imagined so continue to pray for me guys we're going to have a drawing uh when my daughter gets done doing her uh her uh, homework and everything and we we're going to be giving away uh two fifty dollar uh cash apps so please start dropping your cash app so we'll know who we can put in the pot we have given to over 15 or 20 people since we started. And we've also given away some exclusive uh, Jordans just this last week to a dear, 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 young, precious young lady who is just has a heart of gold. And uh, she's going, she was going through a little trouble, as we all do when we get grow, older, you know, we go through those 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 tests and trials of who we really are and it's just such a blessing i really thank god that we're able to encourage people that don't even know how how special they are and we're able to share with them how much they mean to us but even more than that how extraordinarily unique and important and and loved they are by the lord amen um, I just want to share with you a, a a word that we have been walking in since October, which is the beginning of the Jewish New Year. And since we serve a Jewish God, his name is Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah, the Anointed One. Since we serve him, we want to be on board with what the traditions are in 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 Israel and with the Jewish, not because we're serving the tradition, it's just that so we can align ourselves with the word that was written uh, through the culture and the traditions of where Jesus was born and started his ministry. And uh, one of the things that was said uh, was that this is a, a season and a time of miracles and, and the miracles that we're believing God for can be found in Joel chapter 2 verse number 25 where it says and I will this is God speaking through Joel the prophet he said and I will restore or replace for you the years that the locust has eaten have, have, have you have something as you in your past have been stolen from you? Did you lose something in your past that you never thought you were going to give back? And you and you thought you needed it at that time, but you weren't even doing anything wrong. You were just trying to serve and do the right thing and, and, and trying to trying to please the Lord. But out of nowhere, it was stolen from you just out of the blue. I remember my car got stolen. And, and and we had just moved into a new house six years ago. It was like within the first month, I had a brand new uh, Hyundai Santa Fe. 
Ooh, that sucker. I love that sucker. Big, roomy. Oh, my goodness. Bluetooth, everything. And, and unbeknownst to me, we left my spare key in my wife's car, and we forgot to lock the car. And we were having such a good year. I mean, we found a puppy that is charcoal, our, our deer dog that we love so much. We found him, replaced, uh, couldn't replace, but we got another dog for the dogs that passed away that my children had had for so long. And, and we were just on a cloud nine and then poof, car got stolen. It was gone for 45 days, got it back. It was never the same wreck. Had 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 drugs and all kind of paraphernalia in it. When it was turned back over to me, we had to go back to the police and say, "Hey, this ain't ours. Look, the, whoever stole our car went on a crime spree, and this is what's in there. There was <laughs> Amazon packages, there was care packages, there was all kind. But they was doing. They had a crime spree with my vehicle, and you know, I was so heartbroken about it. And uh, you know, we just kept on just serving God and now God has given me another vehicle that is really nice that we are so blessed for even Tanya has a new vehicle and you know it's just how God works it's not about things it's about the king but God will replace those things that you cannot that you did not do anything to lose and even if you did if you made a mistake like we did leaving the car uh, unlocked God is so good he will replace it he will restore it or he will replace it and it will be better than you can ever imagine I know there's relationships that I had and I was talking to excuse me a guy I was praying for yesterday he was straight from the he was from the east, you know, he was from the hood he was from the projects, he, did, he was from low income, he was from a, a a very tough side of town and I told him you know I used to be at Sunny Mitchell's I used to do blase blase at this one known bad spot and when I started to tell him that his eyes got so big and he said you I said I know brother I don't even look like what God delivered me from and I was telling him all of the stuff that I was addicted to all the things I got into and he was just looking at me and I was like man God does not only want to uh, uh, to be Lord over your life, but when you surrender your life to Jesus, he actually comes in and, and he knows you want to change, but you can't change. But when he comes in, he changes you by making you new. He makes you new, so new that when people see you and know you, they say, surely there's a God in heaven. Surely Jesus is alive. Sure, Jesus is the resurrection and the life. And although I was walking in dead things, now I'm alive. And, and, and my life is to live in the life that Jesus has given me. And people will be so blown away by your antics that you used to do and what the, the canker worm and the palmer worm and the enemy was stolen from you where you walking in a place where you were just, just, just filthy. And in a moment, in a twinkling of eye, an eye, he will change you. He will rearrange your life so that even when you are, are down and out about not being able to make up for the mistakes that you have made in the past and you're walking in regret and remembering all the things that you've done in your life, but you made a choice to give your life to Christ, he will get in your life. He will get into your past. He will get in there and begin to bring healing through your life now that will go all the way back into the worst times of your life and heal that thing and restore that thing and replace that thing with, 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 with a newness that will give people a, a, a new view of who you are by what Jesus has done in your life. And, and Joel is promising that. And I know people are struggling with trying to make up for those things that you could not make up for all of your life. And Jesus is saying today, let me, through Joel, let me restore it. 
I'm the restorer of everything that's broken down. Let me resurrect it. All those dead relationships that you did, that you made uh, 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 irreconcilable. Let me reconcile it because when I reconcile it, everything will be reconciled to me. Because if you could do it by yourself, you would get the glory. But when it's reconciled to, to me, all glory mm -hmm, will be mine. And you will be an instrument of the good news in which saved you, raised you, took you out of that miry pit and set your feet on a rock to stay. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And I believe in this season, if you really want to be restored, you got to take action. Mm-hmm. You can't have a word without a action. You need your words and your actions to line up. And we need our lives to line up to the word of the Lord. And, 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 and we do that by allowing Jesus to be Lord over our life. Especially in this season and this time of holidays. Uh, uh, where we, where we are, our, 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 our families and, and, and times where we reminisce about the times that we, we used to have and the loves that we lost and sometimes the relationships that are, are, are no longer there. We get lost in this days of depression. Because it's a season when all of the families are together and you people, you see families together holding hands and they're out together and maybe you don't have that family. Maybe your life isn't like their lives and you get into a pit because you're, 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 you're wishing that things would be better and you know that, 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 that they're not and you get into a dark, deep depression. I want you to know that is the devil and the devil is a liar. See, you might not have your family, your immediate family or your friends, those loved ones that you wish to have in your life. But Jesus said, when your father and your mother, when they forsake you, I will take you up. I'll be your father. I'll be your mother. I'll be your best friend. I'll be your confidant. I will be your, your counselor and I will be the Prince of Peace in your life so you can have joy and the promise of, 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 of blessings right in the midst of this season of the holidays. And, 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 and let me say this, let me say this, this is not unlike it was in the days of Moses. See, when God was bringing the deliverer through Moses, Moses means to be taken out. He, he, he was put in the Nile and they were killing every male child because they knew a deliverer was coming and the enemy tried to kill it before it was able to reach its full potential and fulfill the promise in which God had ordained it to be. And in that same way, when Christ came, oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost. When Jesus Christ came, Herod, King Herod, tried to lie to the wise men and said, let me worship. Bring him to me. I want to worship him. But, but God warned them, warned the wise men that Herod was going to try to abduct them and torture them and try to find him, find Jesus, so that he could destroy Jesus as a baby. And King Herod was so upset when the wise men got wise to his schemes and they went the other way and never came back that he sent out all of the army mm -hmm, to try to destroy all of the infants, male infants, in hopes that one of them might be Jesus. And every time this year where we are celebrating the birth of Jesus, no, he was not born on December 25th, but it's the season and the time. See, the devil works in seasons and times because Jesus says that the times and the seasons 
are in his hands. And it's about this time and season where, where, where you see uh, uh, violence on the rise. You see suicide on the rise. You see DUIs on the rise. You see overdoses on, this, on, the, on the rise because it's a spirit of Herod trying to kill you and snuff you out in your infancy because you don't know God like God wants you to know him through Jesus Christ. So the devil's trying to destroy you in your infancy of trying to get Jesus so you cannot reach your full potential and be what God has called you to be in the kingdom in which he has established through his son, King Jesus. Mm. So why are you saying that? Because I want you to focus, focus in on the word of the Lord. Get you some praise and worship. Stop listening to all of that rump shaker. All that, uh, uh, all that violent music, all that music that is, that is, that is putting images in your mind that is moving you away from who God created you to be. Come on, somebody. Stop hanging around those knuckleheads and those turkeys when God has created you to fly high like an eagle. Mm hmm. So he can move you into your future that is through faith in Christ and Christ alone that will deliver you mm, like Moses was delivered out of the Niles and the threat of being eaten by crocodiles into the palace mm -hmm, where with he grew and knew all of the and, and learned all of the skills and the traits to become a a, 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 a a prophet and a priest in the kingdom of God, because God says that in all ways we must we must we must uh, 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 we must be all things to all people, so we could at least save a few. He understood. So when he went to the to 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 his people that were drawn out of slavery, he knew what it took. To, 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 to lead those millions of people out of bondage, out of Egypt, out of that mindset, away from the spirit of Pharaoh that was trying to keep them stuck in their past. And, I, and God has sent me to, 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 in the name of Jesus to, 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 to share his word to teach you that you're not where you came from. You're not what were you, you used to be doing. You were created for so much more than that. And that you can come out and be delivered and be set free from fear and anxiety. Free from depression. Mm-hmm. And, and, and drug addiction. You can be free from condemnation. Free from guilt and all of the shame. Through the shed blood of Jesus Christ who shed his blood for you and I on that rugged, cruel cross called Calvary. Mm. He gave up the ghost. He gave his life and paid the price so that you could live in freedom. Not for anything that we have done, but because of who Jesus is. He is our deliverer. He is our healer. He is the resurrection and the life. He is the great shepherd. He is the great I am. He is the uh, great physician. He is more than enough. He is our counselor. He is our, our, our almighty, everlasting, never sleeping, never slumbering, king of all kings. And he's reaching down from heaven today to lay his nail-pierced hands on your head. Won't you close your eyes and lift your hands while I pray? That the Perez Darvashan, that depression will not have no hand, no hold on you. That regret will not be able to take you out. 
that you will remember the Lord and that his mercy and his grace will lift you up and keep you against all the schemes of the devil. Will you do that for me now? Father, I just thank you for Jesus. I thank you for healing. Jesus, I thank you, Jesus, for breaking the chains of bondage, whether it's drug addiction, violence, suicide, suicidal thought, homicidal actions, or risky behavior. I thank you for breaking the temptation, Lord, and replacing it with a hunger and thirst for you. Now, God, I thank you for hearing our prayer. Now, Jesus, I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father God, for Jesus. And I thank you, Jesus, for being the Lord of our life, for being the light of the world, for being our Savior, and for being our Deliverer. Thank you for breaking every yoke and lifting every burden. Thank you, King Jesus, for being the Prince of Peace, the Everlasting Father. I thank you now, Father, for visiting all those that would take the time to see this uh, video and that your their heart would be touched by you and their life would be changed forevermore. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you guys. That was Joel chapter 2, verse number 25. And I want you to know we're walking in Joel chapter 2 where God is showing us signs and wonders. Throughout the whole world, where the world is at war, God is still moving. And miracles are still being performed. And I pray that you would see through the eyes of Christ how to navigate, how to move, how to motivate, and how to live for him and those that look up to you. And God would perform special miracles. For you and for me. Para ti y para mí. And mi fa y, y tu familia y mi familia. En de nombre de Jesús. Por siempre. In Jesus name I pray. In Jesus name. Amen.